Hey guys, welcome back to Ire. No, that's not really Ire. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna stop making zealots. Zealots, zealots, whatever. Uh, so today we are going to go uh, kill some Zerg. Which is what we do every episode. But this time we're doing it with style. I have a crap ton of crap in my base here. So we're gonna continue to push out a little bit. Oh, here we go. Today we are getting this round. Actually, you know what? I can I can probably just keep coming up with these guys. I can also get some dragoons as well. Look at that. It's nice. Anyways, uh, so I was gonna talk a bit about uh, map editing a little bit more. Some stuff I didn't talk about the last time I uh, I uh, did commentary for this game. And uh, th what I'm gonna be talking about today is mostly uh, with regards to. Starcraft 2 Customs, and why they failed, uh, at least in my eyes. They may not have failed in your eyes, but they certainly have in mine. Because I used to, uh, I used to run a website called, uh, I mentioned this uh, before, uh, startedit.net still exists today, you can just type it into your browser. Um, used to run it, I don't run it anymore, it's not mine. So if you start talking about Mike Latt, they probably won't know who you're talking about. Because uh, it's been, it's been fucking years. But anyways, um, with regards to that, there's like, uh, I used to be a huge fan of the customs in, in StarCraft 1, because the map editor was very basic and simple, that like, all you could really do was like, if a unit enters this place, you know, do something here, create a unit there, uh, display some text, it's very, very rudimentary, it's very, it's simple, but that was its charm. That's why I liked it. There, were, there wasn't a whole lot. There wasn't a whole lot you could do with it. Like it wasn't like an actual programming thing. But as I said, you know, the only reason what drives someone to make uh, custom content in, in in StarCraft is, you know, it's just you want to reuse the assets of the game. You know, that's that's pretty much it. And I think we got the warp gate now. Right, oh, we gotta kill the Zerg base. We'll just continue across this bridge, I guess. Figured I was gonna use these uh, Dark Templar like they were, uh... Uh, what's my call it? Uh, like they're, like they're zealots. I guess I, I guess I should, like, start moving people to the warp gate. I'm gonna just start setting rally points here, just so I can have an easy way of getting everyone over there. Probably can make some more... Vespine gas. Uh, I think that's enough for the Dark Templars. I'm probably gonna make a forge now and then uh, kind of make an expo right here. The reason I make a forge? So cannons. Uh, so anyways, back on the subject of, uh, of customs. So why are they failed? Um, I think, you know, StarCraft 1 customs were very simple, as I said. Um, they didn't need a whole lot to get going, and that was part of the charm. But the reason they were good was because there was a lot of imagination involved and it was it, and anybody could make maps and and you know people could really flesh out ideas and things like that is actually really cool unfortunately that's not the case with with starcraft 2 because what the first thing is that they lock all the maps i think that is highly detrimental because some of the best maps on starcraft 1 were basically edited many many times over uh, you know, they ha they went through like many, many people and, you know, not everyone kind of went in there and did good things necessarily. Like some people kind of uh, stole the maps, which was like a huge, huge piss off of some people was, which they would just replace their name on the maps kind of thing. And they'd go, oh, I made this and they really didn't. Um, but I think the main thing is that Concepts are way too complicated for for what should be simple maps in in StarCraft 2. Like, uh, if you look at actually, Blizzard has a StarCraft channel, um, and they put on arcade highlights there every once in a while. And I and I'm subscribed to the uh, to the YouTube channel that Blizzard runs there. And every time I look at something new that they're highlighting, I'm like, what the hell is this even? Because, you know, so there are some cool ideas, but. They seem overly complicated just by the video. Like, it's really hard to 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 take a concept which should be relatively simple. And here's the pathing of Starcraft at its finest. 
Here we go. Luckily, we can one-hit Zerglings. Oh god, just get the fuck up here. The one day they'll make it up here. Like, like look at look at this. They all get stuck on this one thing. Now I was gonna show you on a bridge, and I was already showing it to you. No, no, don't go down there. Okay, thank you. All right. Anyways, but like you know, I'm not I'm not a game designer. I'm really not. I I can't really talk about um, you know the best ways to design games uh, to begin with. But you know maps. Uh, maps and mods to me are, are basically games. You're basically reusing StarCraft, StarCraft 1 assets, and you're basically going, hey, I'm going to make a game out of this. Uh, and I think that a lot of the mod makers for, for StarCraft 2 aren't very good game designers, and that's the problem. They just, they don't do it very well, because it's, you know, all, all that's really required is you take a really simple idea and you just kind of go, you kind of ask yourself, what's fun? What's 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 fun to play? What what's good to do? But like, I feel like a lot of the time, whenever I see ideas on on StarCraft Two maps, it's just the the, the guy's like kind of like digging around the editor, and he goes, "That's cool," from a map editor standpoint, you know. And but it's not necessarily fun to play, and and sometimes the ideas don't really come out really well. And you know, as I said, it's completely impressive. I, I am so impressed by some, well, some of the things that those people have done. You just please come down here. Thank you. There you go. Whoops, don't know. Okay, well I attacked my own guy and killed him. But anyways, yeah, there, but that's, that's basically my thing is, I think that the ideas are not fleshed out. And I think, I think there's something definitely to be said about simplicity. Uh, you know, simplicity in, in idea. Um, and just making it, making it just work. Like focusing on like, okay, well, how how is it? You know, I can make the maximum amount of fun. You know, let's take a game like, you know, take a game like StarCraft and kind of boil it down to its basics. What is it about? It's about micro, uh, uh, you know, unit control and all that kind of shit. But like, what if they started adding like like, let's have a level where it's like Doom Doom Two or some some shit like that? Like, it's just like it's crazy. You know, I'm not saying that that's what someone should do but you know it, it's just it's just kind of like you take random ideas and it's just like well the end like it's cool we can fit that into our game it's not necessarily worthwhile to put in and that that's that's my final opinion on that I just noticed that they're attacking me it's gonna, oh, don't worry I'll just make them come over here looks like we're almost done with this base anyways I said it's nothing against the map makers. I, I I do have nothing but respect for these guys. But you know, it's it's just it's just bad design sometimes. And I and I and I kind of sad to see really good ideas kind of just made overcomplicated and and suffer a whole lot of problems. So I don't know. I'm not I'm not gay Ben. I'm not I'm not master game designer. I at one point attempted to, to program games and I gave up on that really relatively quickly. Executor, my crew and I will remain here on Ayer and shut the gate down on this side. It's the only way to make sure that the Zerg won't send more reinforcements to Shakuras. You will be hopelessly outnumbered. And once the gate is shut down, there will be no one to save you should you be overrun. Yeah, well, I'm a man of action. What can I say? I shall remain with Raider as well, Executor. My duty is to hire, after all. Farewell, then, brave warriors. We will send through all the troops we can spare. Thanks. You kids just remember to play nice from now on, okay? Wish us luck. Good job, Rainer. Sacrifice yourself for the greater good. And there we go. Wow, I overkilled that. I am Rashagal, matriarch of the Dark Templar, and I welcome you and your companions to our world. Zeratul has informed me of the fall of Iron, and I am deeply grieved. I am one of the few Dark Templar old enough to remember our ancestral home with clarity. Yet no matter how tragic the circumstances, it is clear that fortune has reunited our people. We Dark Templar 
will never forget our banishment from Ayer, nor the Conclave's sins against us. But you and your companions are no longer of the Conclave. The example set by your fallen hero, Tassadar, has shown you that when the light and dark sides of our energies are united, our power is undeniable. But Matriarch, the Zerg who have followed us here are unlike any enemy the Protoss have ever known. You speak the truth, Judicator. And yet, there lies a dormant power here that can help us to scour the Zerg from Shakuris forever. Long ago, we Dark Templar were a nomadic people. But, when we found a remarkable monument upon this world, we decided to remain here to study it. We discovered that the enormous structure is actually an ancient Zelnaga temple, dedicated to the race that sired us all. The temple is situated above a nexus of powerful cosmic energies. If we were to access those energies... Then we should strike now, while the Zerg still muster their forces. Alas, we cannot. In order to properly channel the energies of the temple, we will need the twin crystals, Urash and Kallus, that legends say were separated many ages ago. The Urash is laced with pure Templar energies, while the Kallus is comprised of dark Templar energy. Only by using these two crystals in unison can we hope to channel the potent energies of the temple. Then it is clear that we must retrieve these crystals, wherever they may be. Agreed. But first, we must deal with the Zerg and their two Cerebrates who have already taken up station around the temple itself. To arms, my children. Scour the temple grounds of this foul infestation. Time to save ourselves a temple. Remember, young Templar, Cerebrates can be killed only by Dark Templar weapons and energies. My brethren will make short work of any Cerebrate. You require more Vespine gas. Alright, and now we get a new unit introduced to us and... Executor, our sensors show that the two Cerebrates are surrounded by spore colonies. We will deploy our Corsairs to compensate for their defenses. Welcome one of our new units, which will automatically deploy its new ability, which is really, really awesome, which disables units within its field. Alright, we're going to just pull these Corsairs back. Now, if I if I move my own guys into there, uh, they will actually be, not be able to fire either. But we want to take out this thing as soon as possible. Uh, we can't, unfortunately, do another one. But that's okay. It looks like we're done. I really like uh, like his little line there. We're gonna deploy uh, corsairs to compensate for their defenses. Sounds badass as fuck. So these are. Um, Basically what they decided in Brood War was there was no aerial superiority units and so that's what they added is now we have aerial superiority units. And so what do they do specifically? Well, Corsairs are uh, basically they do very low amounts of damage but they attack very quickly kind of like this. And But one of the things they're very very good at is dealing with, uh, they do splash damage so basically anything in a large, in a group in a small group, uh, they'll do splash damage too. This includes units moving together and uh, things like that. And and the funny, the fun part the is, um, this was actually, it's not ready. common for units to actually be put together. They actually were meant to be a direct counter against mutilisk strategies um, from the Zerg. And that was a part of the whole meta. And I think that's kind of crazy that they, they put that in there, because that's, that's a lot of... Uh, like that's how seriously they took the whole esports thing. So that's what the Corsairs are actually for. Is they're 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 to counter. Uh, they're to, they're to counter the uh, the the mutilist strategies. And so, uh, they the mutilists are most effective in a group. And that's why that's why they just kick so much ass. Because they usually group. Like if you've ever seen any kind of Starcraft competitive play, they always group it up a lot. 
And so that's that's where the that's where the cor the corsair just directly hard counters that. And you're asking why don't they spread it out? Well, because they don't do nearly as much damage. So, it's it's interesting shit. I I really like it. Uh, so I think this time we'll. Uh, it, it wants I think it wants me to go something like Dark Templars, but I, I wouldn't mind doing something like Reavers. I really like Reavers. Ready for battle. So yeah, every every single race gets its own Aeris Verde unit, which is, they're relatively on par. Uh, I don't think any of them are better than the other ones. I think I've seen uh, that the Corsair used the most in like competitive play. I haven't really seen much of Val uh, Valkyries or Devourers. As I said, I'm not much in the whole esports scene. Um, I think it's interesting though to talk about because uh, it's it's just one of those things where it's like what the unit was for. But the disru the disru um, disruption web actually is is the most interesting ability because it can be used to disable bunkers, uh, anything you want. You can even like kind of like especially in uh, when since this is versus AI, um, you can kind of specially kind of put a disruption web down to prevent units from attacking you anything. And the AI doesn't actually move them out of there, which is kind of funny. Um, so it's 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 just like it's one of those things you can do. Oh, I can't even use Templars for anything useful because I'd have to research uh, stuff, which is unfortunate. It's one of the things that uh, I hate about doing the Starcraft campaign is it takes a long time to get started because you have to kind of get your economy running and, and all that kind of shit. But once you do. This is why, like, I built so many damn probes, because, you know, while I'm researching and getting the basic units, I kind of, I kind of just settle down with one strategy, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to be making fucking Reavers or whatever. I think I should also make a, a Stargate. Uh-oh, oh god. My base! God, stop attacking them. You know, it, it wouldn't be bad to put a... Te the, I was going to say a, a photon cannon in the middle of that, but I don't have enough friggin' anything to do that. Whatever, we'll just build shuttles. Because I'm not, I'm not really concerned at all. Where are they even coming from? Uh, there's one thing over there. Where, I, I think they're around there. You know, why am I not scouting? These guys are great for this. Any air unit is great for scouting. So, they definitely did not come from there. Okay, let me guess. This is an island map, and... I'm going to be using... Yeah. That's why we have to compensate for their defenses. Alright. Well, let's... We need more gas, so let's actually get up there. I didn't realize how short I'd be on gas. With more shuttles. Shittles. Uh, I'm so close to getting more scarabs. Sure, let's do more scarabs first. Because I'm, I'm lazy. Uh, oh, I really don't have enough. That is the one problem, is that we are taking a buttload of damage. And I'm gonna... I'm mostly focusing on the gas in this place. Let me just bring two more guys over. Actually, I, actually, I think we should do that because I think I actually lost a couple of guys on minerals. Okay, I won't, I won't lie. I think, I, I think I've not done enough of my economy. That's okay. Let's make a forge just so I can make some stack defense. Not a fleet beacon. Wait, wait we can get a fleet beacon already? Damn. You know, as it was in my first uh, playthrough of this game, uh, I'm going to avoid any kind of, like, victory plates because uh, boring to watch. Because um, that's like a... They take the longest to do. I always like the shit where I'm basically... Uh, I run around with a minimal amount of units. You know, I think maximum scarabs probably wasn't necessary. I think I wanted more damage. You know what, let's cancel that and just forget about it. Let's get two more reavers. Gonna require some more minerals. You know, let's just build a pylon in anticipation for cannons. And we're gonna make a cannon here, and we'll make one actually up there as well. Maybe not. 
Yeah, no, we don't need it right now. What we actually need is Reavers. Alright. So, uh, here we go. Let's bring our Corsairs out. I'm pretty sure there's actually no way to get across here. We're gonna need a lot of probes. Alright. We'll, we'll, we'll do a beginning of an attack here. So they probably have them all over the place. Because there's a little island here. I'm, I'm a little concerned about bringing anything out here. Okay, so there's two over there. Uh... Mutalisk. Oh god. Not good. Probably should micro this a bit better. Okay, there you go. And this is where the Corsairs really shine. Alright, well, uh, let's see what we got. Okay, we got another one right there. This is gonna be this is gonna be interesting to say the least. All right. Um, now there's one over here, one over here, and so I can just start bringing them down. Actually, I'm I am too worried to actually bring them down that far. So let's uh, let's not do that quite yet. Come on, build your build your photo cannon. Good proby. And we're gonna just make another one right here. Another two, actually. I, I want, I, I want at least four reavers to do it. What the hell? Where, what happened to my? I thought I had a hundred more. Apparently not. All right, we'll we'll just make some more scarabs. And they'll cost money. My beautiful, beautiful minerals. And I probably should make some more probes. Yep, oh, and there's the last one. So. Oh god. Fortunately, photon cannons are actually very cost effective. Uh, but not when you position your buildings like this, like a retard. I probably should take care of that and surround them with like forges and pylons and shit, but whatever. Anyways. You know, I'm not I'm I you may have not guessed this, but I'm not a professional StarCraft player. I just pretend I am. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Unload everything right here. Now, notice how the Hydras moved into that, and they just were fucking useless. Oh god. Oh god. Get in there. Oh god, no, no, don't, don't go, don't go. Escape. Okay, um. We could, we could pretty much just take these guys out. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too confident in my ability to do this right now. These guys are just going fucking crazy. You stupid crosshair- Corsair- Crosshairs. <laughs> They're crosshairs now. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm shooting ammunition here. Uh, like, whenever, whenever I, uh, want to shoot anything in this game. Holy crap, these guys both took a beating. Oh, queens are assholes! Now, it's very wasteful for me to put the- use these all on fucking Zerglings, like this. This is exactly what you don't want to happen. And fucking, they just killed a reaver of mine. Okay, we're just gonna take this guy out. The, the best we can hope for at this point is we just kind of slow push in. And I can just make a bunch of dragoons too, why not? Because the thing about reavers is I can- they're very- our objective here? Destroy Zerg servants. Okay. They're just in there somewhere. They keep sending Zerglings after me. It wastes a lot of ammunition. Uh, whatever. I'm just gonna send these guys over here too. It's it's annoying, to say the least. Because they're all going to fucking shoot at the same things, so... The Reavers are not the smartest creatures. You know, maybe maybe I should have gotten that uh, upgrade. Where is it? Uh, he looks a little stuck. 
Can you seriously not find a way out of there? I, I don't really understand how this guy could move into range. Now, I can't actually kill the, the Cerebrates with uh, Reavers. I, I need to actually bring over the, uh, the Dark Templar. And the way it actually works is there's a map event. Whenever this thing dies, it just looks for if there's a, a Dark Templar adjacent to it. It doesn't even matter if it's attacking it or not. It just needs to be adjacent. And then it'll, uh, and then it'll allow me to kill it, basically, at that point. Just kill that, because it's annoying me. I have a lot of- well, I don't have enough money, actually. I was gonna say I have a lot of money, but I really don't. Alright, let's get these guys in here. Hey, good, you took that out. Just wanna make sure I take out all the crap around it. Oh, there's the Zelnaga Temple. Luckily, they don't have spawn broodling yet. Okay, so here's what we do. Uh, well, actually, this may not work. So let's let's first bring these guys up here, and also hope that eventually one day. Don't waste your ammunition on that. Wait until the wait until this guy's right next to it. There we go. Okay. And now it's now it's gonna allow it to trigger, and that's it. It won't respawn. I like the little li little uh, little details like that. You know, you have to have the dark templars do it. I mean, that's a part of the story, right? But it's it's still interesting to see the kind of the details in, in action. Okay, there's probably one more on the other side, so we're just gonna steamroll right through it. Okay, well there goes that base. I like that base. Actually, you don't know. You want probes? This is your chance. Retaliate. Oh, fuck yourself. Now, unfortunately, for some reason, I even though I took out the Cerebrate, uh, I, I don't actually get the... Oh, well, okay, sorry. I thought I was splash damaging it. I don't actually get the option to... Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, whatever. That base is yours. You can have it. I don't want it. I've just decided I don't want it anymore. Even though this is gonna cost me a fuck ton of minerals. Um, sorry, what was I gonna talk about? I don't even remember. Oh, here we go. Last there, Brit. Fuck, I got sidetracked with, uh, with minerals. Alright, let's just get that guy. Finish this mi stupid mission. Fuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna be very uh, specific about what I attack. Do I have another one? Yes, I do. Oh god, no, no, no! Everyone, go back. Pull back. No, 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 don't, 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 not yet. Okay. Oh shit! No, he didn't. He didn't trigger it. See, it just comes back as as I mentioned. What the hell was attacking it? He was. Okay, well, you know, everyone's gonna just come up there. Because we've just decided that we're gonna take out that 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 stupid ass thing first. You know that you know it's always great that they we have this like little ensnare thing. Like, as if reavers weren't slow enough, and I just wasted a bunch of money. Alright. Okay, let's take this guy out now. You know they're gonna really butt that at me, it's fine. That's it. Well done, mighty Protoss. I'm glad to see that you all are as violent as ever. Kerrigan, what mockery is this? Relax, warriors. Despite what you may think, I haven't come here to fight you. This is laughable. Do you truly expect us to believe that your intentions here are honorable? That these Zerg here are not under your sway? Look, the Cerebrates you've killed were my enemies as well. If you let me explain, I'm sure you'll understand that- You are the enemy of all who live, Kerrigan. What makes you think we would have anything to do with you? Because, Zeratul, I bring news of an event that threatens us all. 
If you'd be so good as to escort me back to your citadel, I'll tell you everything I know. Very well, Kerrigan. We shall hear what you have to say. But be warned, we will not suffer your treachery here. Oh. We finally pulled that one off by the skin of our teeth. Okay, well I hope you guys are enjoying and I'll see you next episode.